Hi, my name is Paula Cormack. I'm the Chief Executive of the Archie Foundation. I went to university and I studied German and Hispanic studies as my undergraduate degree and then I did a postgrad in European Marketing and Languages. My career to date has been quite varied um, and actually my path to get here has probably been even more varied. At one stage I thought I might like to be a teacher. I had a little trial of that when I worked in Spain for some time and found out that actually that's really quite hard and you don't just have to motivate yourself every morning, you have to motivate a whole class. So I realised that wasn't quite for me and then I, after my undergraduate, then I still didn't know what I wanted to do. So I did a postgrad in European Marketing and Languages, which was really just to allow myself to be a student a little bit longer and work out what I wanted to do. And then I had a eureka moment in the middle of a lecture one day hearing what a brand manager does, and I thought that's what I want to do. So then I went into marketing and I was 20 years in food and drink marketing before I had what I always say to people, either it was either a midlife crisis or it was an epiphany and it depends if it was a good day or a bad day when you ask me which I say. Um, I decided then that actually I really wanted to move into something in the charity sector where I could actually feel I was making a difference in the community that I live and work in. I've learned lots throughout my career um, and many things through um, mistakes as much as through successes. Um, one of the greatest things and most important lessons that I've learned is tenacity, um, sticking with something. If you, if you really want to achieve something, where there's a will, there's a way. And I've surprised myself with some things that I've been able to achieve even when I came up against multiple obstacles. Um, and the other thing I've learned actually is um, a lot about interpersonal skills and about people. Um, I work with people all the time, most people do, um, and that's one of the bits of my job that I enjoy the most. Um, and you can always learn more from other people and you're always learning about people as well. My advice to my younger self would be to take all the opportunities um, that are given to me and never to be afraid to ask for help. Um, and advice to younger people, well, it would be similar. Um, don't worry if you don't know what you want to do, just grab every opportunity that comes your way and it will all fall into place. One of the things that I wanted to share was um, to help people understand that they are really good and their own skills and talents will come forward. I learned a few years later from my parents that when I was in primary seven, my school teacher had told them not really to expect too much of me, that I might be lucky to get a couple of foundation levels at standard grade. Um, she was basing that on my performance in STEM subjects, um, sciences, um, maths, everything I wasn't good at at school, but we hadn't started doing the subjects that I turned out to be really good at, which was principally languages and the arts. Um, and it was thanks to my secondary school teacher, my German teacher in particular, that all of that started to flourish. Um, I had no aspiration to go to university. I was the first in my family to do so. And I only started applying to university out of peer pressure. I looked around and thought, oh, if everybody else is doing this, maybe I should be too. And the same happened again after I'd gone to university. I, I did well there, still didn't know what I wanted to do. So then saw an, uh, an MSc that was advertised and the main reason I picked it was because it had A, full funding and B, um, the opportunity to do a project on your own. It appealed to me, I went and did that and I ended up getting the class prize. While I was doing that, peer pressure again, I didn't know anything about the milk round, going and working for some of the blue chip companies as a graduate um, trainee but I saw other people applying and thought, oh, maybe I should be doing that. And then I joined one of the graduate training schemes. Um, so all the way through my career, there's been a fair degree of serendipity and just, you know, letting things take their own course and, and finding my skills along the way. And I've thoroughly enjoyed all of my working life and I still do really enjoy it. So my advice would be never let yourself be held back 
um, and just you know keep striving and keep pushing for more and you will surprise yourself with what you can achieve. My favourite thing about working in the charity sector is knowing that what I'm doing is making a difference and that was what 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 spurred me to move out of the commercial, out of the private sector and into the, the charity sector. I got a little bit disillusioned feeling that maybe my efforts were doing more to line shareholders' pockets than anything else and I really wanted to know that I was making a difference for other people. And that's, that's what I enjoy the most and I get to meet some incredible people along the way so that makes it really fun.